Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So we have less than a week left of the Finding Marlin limited time event, which includes characters from the Finding Nemo and Finding Dory movies. So I am really looking forward to collecting the very last character, but I haven't quite unlocked him yet and DMK hasn't released him to us. So the first step is for me to actually unlock him. Uh, so that's what we're going to be working on today. But first, before we get into the dialogue for that, we've got Hank here who's got some of his own. Okay, we're clear. That was a close one. One fewer bunch of bipeds I've got to worry about though. Pro tip from a guy who knows his camouflage. They can't see you from a boat if you pretend to be part of the boat. Hopefully those grabby little mammals didn't notice the extra octopus shaped porthole on that hull of theirs. Hopefully they didn't hang for your sake. Quest complete. Dive, dive, dive been a while since I've been that shade of yellow. Really gives the old chromatophores a workout. I would say so. Now we will give our septopus a high five. He's not quite an octopus because he is missing one tentacle. So yeah, he's a septopus. Kind of fun that he is in the kingdom. I'm actually really, really glad that they included him um, as part of one of the seven characters. <laughs> Whether he was premium or not, I'm so happy for him to be here. So this is going to be the dialogue for breaking out Marlin. Then after that, it will be breaking him in and then unlocking him. Nemo. Phew. Thanks for getting those rocks loosened up, Dory. But this is still really tough. Hopefully she still knows what you're talking about, Nemo. You said it, Taco, and by it, I mean, you know, restating what we were just doing, because it was just, pff, gone. <laughs> yeah, from the old noggin. You know what? That's actually okay. If we're gonna free my dad, I think we're gonna need to change how we do it. Oh, I love changing plans, mostly because I do it by accident a lot, so it's kind of in my whole wheelhouse. Quest complete, breaking out. But as far as I know, doing it on purpose is good too. <laughs> I love how she's there like on the side going like, hmm, what did I just forget? Oh, hey, high five. And we've got dialogue here. Crush, can you and Squirt come talk with Dory and me at the reef? We're trying to think of another way to get my dad out. Ha, <laughs> way to exercise that big old noggin of yours, Jellyman Jr. I approve, little dude. I approve. The four of us thinking on this together, we are going to shred this mental wave so hard. It's going to be like, whoa. Yeah, uh, I mean, what? Just laying a metaphor on you, dude. Don't overthink it. with our noggins combined. So this is an event quest. Send Crush and Squirt to brainstorm. Send Nemo and Dory to brainstorm in the seas. Okay, so this is going to be part of breaking, I guess, in now. So yeah, so brainstorm ideas is gonna be six hours with Squirt. Ah, why so long? That's craziness. Okay, well, it needs to happen. Uh, and then Dory and Nemo, they're going to be eight hours. Oh, gosh, they're even longer. Okay, so definitely make sure you set aside some time for this quest. Because it, it's not quick. 
Definitely not quick. So basically, by the time those guys are all sort of done, um, I guess we'll probably have to go back into the battlegrounds and try and free Marlin. Now, just so you guys know, that should do it. If you wanna see the rest of the breaking out quest that was in my previous video, where we built the submarine attraction, which was honestly a lot smaller than I expected it to be. I mean, it's good in some ways for the kingdom in terms of fitting things, but at the same time, uh, it's not really working with my section I had kind of planned, so. Maybe it, like long term it will need some rethinking, but I think for now I'm still gonna keep it in that area. I'm pretty happy with the rest of the setup, so I don't really wanna go moving it yet again. I've just made a lot of changes in my kingdom since I did my six hour build live stream. Oh my gosh, six hours, I know. But it literally did take that long to just get like all of my kingdom set up in a good way. And too, we were trying to figure out the thrill zone as well and try and see like, if we could get to his own three, which isn't quite possible yet in the game, but um, like I did manage to get to a two, so we did test that out, and I've kind of given up on it, but I mean, it's like, it is good if you guys can try and get it there and stuff like that, then totally do it. I just feel like I make more magic setting it up the way I'm doing it now than using the thrill zone so I was a little bit surprised about that but I'm actually I need the magic so as much as it's kind of cool maybe to get that extra reward around the kingdom or whatever that comes which could be a, a relic or a common blueprint an occasional gem if you're super lucky it's like I just I can't do it my kingdom needs the magic more so I just yeah and two it's kind of a bit dumb because it made my kingdom look horrible so there's just not enough decorations and stuff like that that are required to get your kingdom into that thrill zone too, so it's hard. Otherwise, your kingdom kind of looks a little, I don't know, you've got like random like gold trophies that are part of like Big Hero 6, but yet you can't put your Big Hero 6 in there because, oh, guess what guys, can't do it because you actually need, you know, your Toy Story in that area because those attractions you can enchant. So it, the thrill zone's been a little messy. Again, I've I've done my kingdom so that it actually works, um, and it's like relatively efficient. But the way I have it now, it's way more efficient, even without that little bit of extra magic from the thrill zone. So whatever, I'm just I'm done with it. Not my favorite feature, that is for sure. Um, now I am working on collecting for Timothy Mouse, and as you guys saw, I showed you the Ringmaster, which I have actually collected now. In my last live stream, we actually brought him into the kingdom, so that was pretty cool. If you guys want to check that out, um, it will be on my channel page. Also, too, you can just obviously go to all my live streams or in a playlist, and you guys can just watch it from there. But yeah, so we got the Ringmaster now, so he's helping out with Timothy Mouse so much. Oh my goodness, I feel like... Timothy Mouse gonna be in the kingdom in no time. I'm basically like halfway there. So I don't know. And I mean, a lot of these characters haven't even been like fully focusing on Timothy Mouse. They've been actually focusing on like, for example, Buzz Lightyear has been like focusing on currency and stuff like that on his eight hour quest and not like doing it with Toy Alien. So it's kind of been a little interesting. Um, you know, collecting for him so quickly, considering. Um, so really now I'm just worried that my magic won't be there in time. Because I need 600,000 magic. I mean, I should be able to do it, but the tokens have been dropping just so frequently now with the Ringmaster, and I just don't have the magic. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of like, all right. I've been kind of pausing leveling up any characters. It's kind of been a bit funny, because I usually love to have people going, but... Yeah, I'm not used to, to struggling on, in the magic department. I'm usually, you know, really, really solid with everything. But because I decided to, yeah, <laughs> kind of push the storyline along, bring in Michael and unlock Timothy Mouse during the actual event, build the land, all of this stuff. All of this has all happened um, during the Finding Nemo event. So it's been a little bit crazy in my kingdom. Like I again, I usually just level up characters and stuff and save up on the magic, and then that way I can kind of like afford whatever I want. Um, but yeah, it's kind of kind of changed. 
I kind of tried a different strategy for this event and like it's really great with my kingdom sort of pushing along that main storyline because there's not really that much left right so when they do decide to add more additional permanent content which I'm thinking is probably gonna be Lady and the Tramp when they do like probably October November I want to make sure that like I maybe even brought Dumbo into the kingdom by then so that that way I can at least hopefully be close to or will have already kind of like been able to actually start that new storyline that comes available and yeah I think that'll be pretty great to be able to sort of be at that point with my kingdom I know it's still gonna require a lot more work so I'm not underestimating like the amount of work I have ahead of me and how much magic I'm gonna need but I think that if I kind of stick with my game plan and keep going with things I might actually be able to kind of start that new permanent content when it comes available so that's sort of the hope for me um over the next like couple of months here's nemo i don't think that's gonna work either oh, i wish i was bigger and stronger i just headbutt those rocks out of the way hey don't let that get you down dude being our size is totally sweet and so are you <laughs> Thanks, Squirt. I guess being small did help get me into that filter when I was trapped in the... Uh, maybe he forgot. <laughs> you mean in Sydney? Quest complete with our noggins combined. Wait, hey, I think I've got an idea. Oh, and more dialogue. Nemo and Dory now. Okay, Dory, new plan. I'm going to try to wiggle in between those rocks and make a path for my dad to get out. I just need you and everybody else to do whatever you can to help me get in there. All right? Oh, my gosh, Nemo. Your dad is in there? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Never mind. That part is coming back to me right now. Yeah, I'm all in. Okay, uh, now what? Free Merlin! We're doing the breaking in, guys. The event quest. The last part before Merlin is unlocked. Yay! So we're finding an opening for eight hours with Nemo. Oh, dear. Dory, direct others, four hours. And Hank, so not everybody will have Hank, so this may take you guys a little bit longer. He's also four hours, remove obstacles. Oh, yeah. Hank is so useful right now. Oh, my gosh. What? What is happening here? <gasps> oh, cool. Oh, this is amazing. I love the graphics. I'm just going to point one thing out, though, guys. Why can't Hank just grab Marlin and throw him down into the water? I, 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 just, I just don't get it. He's up there. He's made it up. Why, why can't he just grab him? That's so ridiculous. He could even hold him and climb down, you know? Put him in a coffee pot if, if it, he feels it's too far, but I don't understand. This is this is confusing. I guess Hank's helping by removing rocks, but I feel like it's kind of dangerous with Dory and Nemo below. But you know, I, I guess he's I guess he's being careful. <laughs> Super cute though. I do love the animations of this game. I hope that they, they keep up with some of these really amazing quests for sure. Oh my goodness. So cool. All right. So that's basically the last part, guys. Is that, So basically, I've just got to keep sending those guys out. Um, and then I should be pretty golden, actually. So I know this video is going up a little bit later than I initially intended. Um, I do want to point out something super weird happened. I don't know if anybody else experienced this. Um what was it on Wednesday 
Wednesday, it was like around 2 or 3 o'clock. Um, something happened, and it actually happened to my mom's kingdom as well, and the baby kingdom. So it was three kingdoms um, in total. So I know this is like a real thing. Um, but what ended up happening was, is that the quests were done or else didn't happen. So the thing was, is I know my mom said, she's like, oh, like I sent all my characters out and literally like within five minutes, she was like, I had to resend them all out. And I had the problem where I had done this quest and then I had resent them out and then it just didn't count any of my other stuff. So they were finishing up the same quest that I already collected for. So I don't know exactly what happened if it was just like a general sort of maintenance glitch, but whatever it was, like I had already sent out my character. So I feel like I fell a little bit behind in terms of like, you know, where I was sort of headed. Like I think I would have been done all this stuff. Um you know, again, this morning, I would have been able to have that video up, but I had to wait because I had missed those a couple of hours just because the game did something weird with the refreshing. So I, I don't quite know why that was, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed that at all. Crush is now level seven. This is totally rocks. But anyways, I'm, I'm dealing with it. It was a minor thing. I only missed out on a couple of hours, but that couple of hours definitely did uh, set me back. So um, it's just another one of those things like Merlin not collecting the magic properly from the gathering spell. And then again, like a glitch like that with the kingdom. Like I've, I've kind of thought in the past, like randomly a couple times, like I'd sent my characters out for 60 minutes to collect magic. And then I will notice that like literally 20 minutes later, all of those characters are done. I'm like, I didn't take 40 minutes to send them all out. So it's like, there has been stuff where I've questioned it before. Like I set a timer for the 60 minutes when I start sending out the characters. And then it's like, again, it's only 20 minutes in and I am able to collect, but this time it worked in the reverse where like it set me back that time. So not the most convenient thing to happen during an event, but I guess glitches happen and you know, we kind of just have to roll with it. But um, guys, just sort of be cautious with your game now when you're collecting magic, no matter how you're collecting it, make sure it's actually going like into your bubble up at the top, because if it's not, you guys are missing out hardcore. Now, currency I haven't seen any trouble with, or gems, or anything else. It's all going there. Even happiness, when I tap, it, it seems to count. But magic has had a little bit of a problem lately um, with, like, actually being accurate with what you're collecting. So, again, just be aware um, of that, like, little thing that's sort of going on right now. So, that you might notice you're, like, it's taking you guys so much longer to collect. Um, and that is one of the reasons uh, that might be happening. So you can just contact uh, Gameloft in options and just sort of contact them and let them know what's sort of going on and see if they can sort of fix that for you. I don't think there'll be any sort of compensation, but it's at least an issue that they can kind of look into and stuff so that it doesn't keep happening um, with your game. So I don't know if you guys noticed though, all of the leaks are posted in a video that I have done for Marlin. So one of the things I'm going to have to do once I unlock him is send out all of my characters to collect for him and then make sure in the morning that I do not tap anything. Um, I think everything should time up okay, but just in case. Um, I'm probably going to be a little bit sensitive uh, when it hits 10.30 a.m. when I do my live stream. I'm definitely going to kind of keep an eye on things a little bit closer and stuff um, so that I'm not even going near those sections. I don't even want to run risk of things. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, so I am doing the live stream 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time when Marlin is released. That's about a half an hour before he's released. So we'll be able to kind of talk about progress, where you're at, what you can kind of expect for the rest of the event. Um, you know, the options of either purchasing Merlin straight away, uh, sorry, Marlin straight away and getting him into your kingdom and stuff like that, or, you know, whether you're going to actually try and collect for him like I am going to do. So that you do guys have the option to purchase him in a bundle, or at least that's what they've done so far with these events. Like, I can't say for sure because they have been making a lot of changes, but 
Uh, typically, Marlin does, uh, he, since he's the last character, he should come in a bundle for you guys to purchase. Again, if you guys, you know, don't have time to collect for him or whatever, you don't have to purchase it tomorrow. You can always purchase it, like, you know, right when the event is about to end or whatever you guys want to do. Um, but again, just, uh, you guys do have that option there if, you know, you do want to get him. It's kind of entirely up to you. I'm going to collect, though. So those of you that, uh, you know, are going to be collecting, then obviously we'll be kind of strategizing sort of the best way to go about that. All right, Marlin and Nemo. What's happening out there? I can't see anything. And wait, Nemo? Is that you, son? It is me, Dad. And I'm coming to save you, no matter what. I feel like they're yelling at each other. <laughs> Quest complete. Breaking in. It's like Dory says. When life gets hard, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been waiting for this animation. Like the whole event. Oh, so cute. Cuteness overload. It's like a cuddle party. <laughs> Dory, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Somebody else is singing my song. Wait, no, two fish are singing my song? I didn't know my song had a harmony part. It really brings out the emotional texture. Wait, no, something about this is, it's important. Let's think, if one of those fish is Nemo, then the other one has to be welcome a clownfish dad welcome marlin and he's gone from the battlegrounds <gasps> they're empty so he's free guys we have freed marlin yay happiness so 18 hours 27 minutes to be exact before marlin is here so again in 18 hours well depending on when this video goes up then i'll be live but again 10 30 a.m eastern standard time on friday so it's yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome i'm really really excited to start collecting for him oh so busy oh I'm, I'm really looking forward in some ways to what's coming in the kingdom next because we already know september has a tower challenge we saw that in the calendar um so i again like as much as i've been enjoying like the event for the most part it's like i am very very much looking forward to the next tower challenge which we will be talking about some predictions and stuff like that to come we'll address a little bit more tomorrow and then obviously when we welcome marlin that's going to be full on full out ideas of possible tower challenges because tower challenges right now are not totally necessary but it is happening so i am kind of like interested to see what uh dmk has in store for us next so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure you guys give it a big mickey thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and hit that bell for post notifications so you guys know when i post a video or am about to go live so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys for the next Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. Bye!